Yo, you know I'm available. You know you can always call. Whatever you need from me, you know I won't drop the ball. You know you my all in all. I know you the god of all. So just tell me what to do. I know you can never lose. My storage is vacant. Like Romo, I used to keep taking the wrong road. Now watch how I'm breaking these strongholds. And yeah, you made me beautiful. You know that you the go. You came and gave me a song. I was lost, now I'm found. Then you sent me. I was blind, now I see. 2020. I give thanks for the day that you came into my Revelation is defined as the act of revealing hidden truths. God communicating divine truths. Unlike
unlocking mysteries. And when our eyes are opened, the darkness is flooded with great light. Immediately deliverance has come and freedom has come. This freedom isn't just for you or me, but for our families, our communities, and the generations connected to us. His word, by his spirit, for his kingdom. This isn't just any church. This is Revelation Church. Welcome to Revelation Church. We will now inform you of our Lifeline Essentials. Your attention is key, as this may differ from any church service you've experienced before. If this is your first visit, we welcome and greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. If you've already been here before, it's great to see you again, family. How are you staying connected? The information booth is where you can find our Lifeline QR code, so you can officially become a member of Revelation Nation. And to those who are watching online, don't worry. You can scan the code too. We love to have you join us online. Beyond joining us every Sunday and every Prophetic Thursday, it's important to keep growing spiritually. Sign up for PowerShot, a daily devotional on realms of meditation led by Prophet Lovi himself. You could visit us on prophetlovi.com. And it doesn't stop there. We love growing middle schools and high schools here at Revelation Youth. On top of that, we meet in person on Fridays and every Tuesday for Global Zoom Prayer. Daughters of Revelation, hosted by Prophetess Maggie, gather together every first Tuesday of the month, and the whole Rev Nation family come together to pray every first Saturday of the month with Apostle Gershon. Zoom link available. The world is changing all around us, and your help enables us to spread the message of Jesus. You can do this by connecting what matters most to you to who matters most to you. When you give your offering in-house, please write legibly using the envelopes in the seat back in front of you. Prefer to give online? The accepted methods will appear on your screen. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms and tag us in your pictures and your videos. Many people worldwide have encountered this house and the message of Jesus. All because someone liked, subscribed, and shared something very real happening right here. If you have any questions, just stop by the information booth in the lobby or visit the website at revelationchurchla.org. Thank you for your attention. We know this will be a service where you will encounter God. The time is now. Your time is now. The Lord has something just for you. And welcome to Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. Come on, guys. Are you excited to be in the house? Eleanor, it's so good to see you this morning. You look fabulous. Thank you, Lori. And you look so glorious. It looks like the glory of God has truly risen upon you. Oh, wow. That is too <laughs> kind. Listen, it is my favorite holiday, so that may be something to it. But I think that the glory is resting on you and also Revelation Nation. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes. You know, I'm so excited to see God pull all these people from all over the world here with us today yeah. where we can celebrate resurrection and not only his resurrection, but the resurrection for all our dreams, our desires and all that he has for us. I love that. I love that. You know, the celebration didn't just begin today. We've actually been celebrating all weekend. We had prophetic service on Thursday, which is always dynamic. And then we had Good Friday service. Yes. It was amazing. <laughs> on Good Friday, we baptized Prophet Lovey baptized over 200 people. Wow. Listen, the kingdom was expanded. People were activated. It's a beautiful, beautiful way for us to get started to lead us to this moment. 
That's, uh, I mean, it's so like, it makes me so emotional thinking yeah. everything God has done. But, you know, uh, besides that, um, uh, it's not just Resurrection Sunday, but we just finished our 21 days of fasting. Woohoo! Let's make some noise for that. So for everybody who has joined us in this journey, yeah. to God be the praise. Amen. We began this journey being stretched and we've completed this course with increased capacity and strength for our destinies. So congratulations, Revelation Nations. You made it. Amen. God is so good. God is so, so good. Listen, we are ending this first quarter of 2024 with a celebration, with a bang. But you know how Revelation Nation does. We've got amazing things coming up. So the month of April is jam-packed, and we want you all to know how you can plug in. We like to go glory to glory in here. I like that. Daughters of Revelation. Woo -woo -woo! It is, yes, let's give a shout for that. It's time for us to gather again this Tuesday, April 2nd, right here at 7 p.m. Child care will be provided, so come on out and join the ladies for a time of prayer presence and power with prophetess maggie it's sure to be a really really good time we're going to follow that up very quickly with uh, april 5th our rev youth you guys it's time to gather again you have a special service coming up april 5th at 6 30 p.m with none other than prophetess lena so yes. make sure you guys invite your friends we want to bring her back with a, a huge uh showing up amen Yes, amen. And there's more. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. Listen, youth, you've got some exciting things coming up, some changes happening, but they're just for your good. I bring a special guest out now to tell us more about it. Amen. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good Revelation morning. Nation. Good morning. We can do better than that. Okay. Real quick before I make this announcement. Please help us. This is Resurrection Sunday. If it was not for today, you would not be sitting here. That's so can right. I please get a That's clap right. for your Savior, for Jesus? You can clap a little better for Jesus. You can a little do better more. for Jesus. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready for service. Now we're ready. So my name is Pastor Todd, and I'm here on behalf of Revelation Youth. And Revelation Youth, we have some exciting news. The kids have been asking, can we meet more often? Can we meet more often? And God has clearly heard your prayers. So starting in April, we will be meeting every single Friday for the ongoing of Revelation Youth. Woo. Every single Friday, your middle schoolers and high schoolers will be able to come, get fed, have a good time. But not only that, two Fridays a month are strictly designated to middle schoolers and two Fridays a month are strictly dedicated to your high schoolers so that they can effectively grow and not be mingled and not be a distraction to each other. Oh, we love so. that. We love that. Okay, so every Friday, but are the service times changing or what's the time that they gather? Always 6.30. Always 6.30. Always 6.30 okay. across the board. Um, and also, I know April 5th we're having service, mm -hmm. but the very next week, April 12th, we're having paint and chill for our high schoolers Ooh. at 6.30. That's nice. So it's going to be a vibe. Make sure you sign up your middle schoolers and high schoolers' parents. Come so that they can constantly be fed, they can constantly grow, so that the future of Revelation Nation can continue to expand. I love that. I love that. So you guys, one, once again, remember, paint and chill. Is that what you call it? Paint and chill. I like that. Just for the high schoolers? Yeah, we don't want to do paint and sip. We want to do paint and chill. And we, amen. Yeah. To the glory of God. Amen. <laughs> amen. Okay, so do they have to register for that event? Yes, please register for the event. You can register on the flyer that should be up on your screens, but register so that we can make sure that everyone is checked in and everyone can come and have a good time. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Todd. All right, have a good day. Thank you so much. Let's give it up one more time. How exciting. Listen, Revelation Youth always has something crazy going on. We love that department. Yes, we do. But I also got something exciting for our dancers. Oh, tell us. Tell yes. Us. So we have auditions for our dance ministry coming up, but first, listen to this, we've got orientation. The yeah. dance orientation will be held April 7th, and it is for adults 18 years old and up. A little something for us adults, you know, it's always the youth. <laughs> and it is required for those who desire to join the dance ministry. So once again, if you desire to join the ministry, if you desire to even audition, you must go through orientation on April 7th, and you could okay. sign up for this on revelationchurchla.org. 
Org. Okay, listen, if you are not necessarily a dancer, but you may be a single, our solo, which is our singles ministry, is ha hosting their very first summit coming up on April 19th at 7 p.m. During this time, they're going to engage in deep discussions, share personal journeys, and even insights. This event is open to adults. 18 and up, and you can either attend in person or online. Now, usually we have things that are being streamed to the public, but this event is special. If you decide to join us online, you're actually gonna get a private link. That way, whatever is shared and whatever happens within this is gonna stay within the solo ministry, and that's very exciting. You don't wanna miss out, you guys. Go to revelationchurchla.org today and register. It's really exciting. I'm excited. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what God could do because he works in mysterious ways. Listen, this is the space where you want to network because the grace is deep and you never know who you're sitting next to. That reminds me, I think I'm ready. I'm ready for service. I'm ready to get going. Not just yet, Lori. There's I have one more thing to remind everybody who is here in okay. the sanctuary with us. Okay. <laughs> Well, with so many of you joining for service today, I want to remind all of you to take your belongings as we conclude the service. Should you happen to leave anything, our lost and found is located at the information booth. Good. Please note, we are not liable for any lost or missing items, but those that are turned into us are hold for no more than two weeks. Again, lost and found is located at the information booth. Okay, are, are we good now? I'm ready. Revelation Nation, are you ready? <laughs> of course they are ready. This is Resurrection Sunday, and our Lord won us the victory. Amen? Yes, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you once again to everybody who flew in, who traveled to make it in the house, but thank you so very much for each of you, Revelation Nation, viewing in online, whether it's right now or even later. Our God be praised. You have the victory because he has the victory. You can live because he rose once again, you guys. Are you excited? Yeah. Amen. We're going to just enjoy this time together as Apostle Gershon is going to lead us into prayer right after this special video.
praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Can we rise this morning? Hallelujah. The word of God says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Reserved in heaven for you. Come on and give our God some praise in the house. Welcome to this powerful time in his presence. I want you to lift your voice and begin to thank God for his mercies that are new every morning. I am always reminded of the scripture that says that when the children of God are gathered in his presence, there he commands the blessings. The Lord has commanded his blessings for you and I. Lift your voice and give him praise this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we acknowledge that you alone are worthy to receive all the praise and all the glory. Be glorified in our midst today. We thank you for family. We thank you for the resurrection power. We thank you that we are free, that we are liberated. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is not what we have done, but it is what you have done on our behalf. And we give you praise. All over the sanctuary, begin to lift your voice and thank God. Thank you, Lord. Because of your resurrection, we have hope. Because of your resurrection, we are free. We are delivered. Mandelebosha. Lift your voice. The word of God says, with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Even as you've joined us from all over the world. Lift your voice, for we are gathered in his name and his name alone. May it be well with you. May it be well with your families. May it be well with your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift your voice and thank him. Lift your voice and give him praise. Lift your voice and give glory. Lift your voice and give him glory. Lift your voice and sing a new song. All over the buildings, all over the sanctuaries, lift your voice and give him praise. For we have gathered in him and him alone. Let every voice, let every voice praise him, praise him, praise him. Let every voice give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Mandala Ayamakata. I have made up my mind that I won't have the stones praise him. I will praise him with all that I have. I will give him glory as long as I have the breath to breathe in my lungs. I will say thank you, Jesus. Lift the church of God before the throne of grace. How many know that when you lift the church up, you are literally lifting yourself before the Lord in prayer? 
Mandele Babaya. Yes, Lord, we lift your church. We lift your church. May it be well with every person that has come into this place. Every person, Lord, that has joined us, even online, even via every platform, we lift them before the throne of grace. May it be well with them. Mandele Bradosha. May it be well with them. Ikatala bara bashanda bara baba, mazebra na mashanda baba ya, rama katala bara baze, rama shanda baba ya. Father, we are guarded in Your name, and we thank You, Lord, because Your word says, Lord, that it will accomplish what it has sent it to accomplish. Even as we've sent Your word, even as we've sent Your word for peace, for peace. For healing, for deliverance. Oh Ramashanda, we thank you that it is so, it is so, it is so for every person that is guarded today. It is so for every person that is connected with us online. It is so. Yes, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabadaba Sobra Namashanda Babi, Makatata Baba Baba Baba, Baba Masaya. We thank you that it is a new day and everything is being resurrected on our behalf. Everything that is dormant, everything that is dormant, we speak the resurrected power in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, begin to make a joyful noise in the presence of the Lord. Begin to shout. Oh, I need somebody to begin to thank the Lord with a shout of joy. Begin to thank the Lord wherever you are in the sanctuary, wherever you are on land, begin to lift your voice, begin to thank the King of Glory. The Lord let your praises rise, let your praises rise, let your hallelujahs rise, let your hallelujahs rise. Turn to your neighbor, turn to your neighbor, hold your neighbor by the hand and let your neighbor know that it is well with them. 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 It is well with them.
Okay, I did the Sopranos wrong. Can I get all the Sopranos? Oh, y'all be about that.
it to you? You see, you put your hands together like this.
believers who actually believe. Amen. Amen. So with faith, we're going to sing this next song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. together.
give God a shout of praise in this room. Somebody say, He is risen. He is risen. Okay, now say it with faith. He is risen. He's alive. you're an all-powerful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing he can't do. There's nothing he can't do. Let's sing this song. No longer
to living faith. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, you brought me back.
thankful for the resurrecting power of God? I said, is anybody thankful for the resurrecting power of our God? You know, he, he, he's not only resurrecting back then. He's resurrecting things in your life right now. I believe that today. Come on, do you believe that today?
don't you believe he's still moving? I still believe you. Come on, in every dead situation.
Father. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Searched high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater than Jesus. Say nobody greater than Jesus. Show 
Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have made, that we will be glad and rejoice in it. Father, I pray that your grace and mercy shall be upon us. Purify us, sanctify us, show us your grace and your mercy. Thank you for all that you have done and what you continue to do. That as we are here, we will see your goodness and your mercy. Father, exalt yourself and reveal yourself unto us. Forgive us of every sin. Purify us from every unrighteousness. May your spirit rest upon us and may you do with us what you desire. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Clap your hands to the King of glory. Clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Happy Easter to all of you that are here and those who are online. May the Lord Jesus bless you. And may you see his goodness continually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I apologize for the late start. We were getting everyone in the other buildings. Amen. Amen. It's a good Amen. thing. You know, we don't want to start service and people are not seated. It's not good. But the Lord Jesus is good and we thank the Lord for this beautiful day. It is because of this day. I will say it again. It is because of this day we can say we are bold followers of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. It is because of this day we can stand and say, Truly, I am a believer. Because this is the mark that makes us different from everybody. There are stories of many messiahs, but there is only one that rose. Amen. There are stories of many deliverers, but many, <laughs> actually, all are dead except one who still lives, who never was. Who is, who was, and is to come. It just has been. This is the reason. Christmas was the giving of the gift. This was the purpose of the gift. Amen. I'm going to say it again. Christmas, we celebrate the gift being given. Today, we actually unwrap the gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is significant, significant because it marks the purpose of his life. Being born is one thing. Finishing the race is a whole completely different thing. May God give you the grace to finish well. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me see all the other people in all the overflows. Wave your hands if you're here. You can hear my voice. All right. That's the first one and this is the other one. Look at that. Look at, look at all those souls. Look at all those souls. All this for the King of Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, I tell you, my desire is for nobody to ever be turned away. No, why? Why should we do that? God has given us the ability to have everybody. Grab your Bibles if you can from Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 14. Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 14, I believe, to 18. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, your readiness is... Actually, it ends at 16. No? Does it end at 18? 18, yes. Are we ready? Yes. yes. One, two, three. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had power. Let's all read. This side is reading. This side is quiet. Let's all read together. One, two, three. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. 
For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself have suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Father, give me the spirit of revelation. Father, give me the spirit of revelation. You may sit in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I'm not going to take much time because I want the Lord Jesus to minister to you. And uh, one thing that I love about this house, I don't know about other houses, I know about this house. Amen. Is that we don't talk about a Jesus, we don't demonstrate. Amen, amen. <laughs> I, I think we are starting a little cold, but let me push this thing. We don't talk about a Jesus, we don't demonstrate. So we teach and then we demonstrate him. Yes. Amen. Because if we speak about him and we don't show him forth, then what are we really talking about? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to give you five reasons or five gifts that were delivered unto you on the very day that Jesus went up on that cross and he rose again. Hallelujah. Amen. These five reasons, if you understand them and you keep them in your heart, it will be virtually impossible for situations, for the devil, for his uncles and his aunts to touch you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You have to understand that the primary thing that gives you liberation in the sight of God is knowing the truth, the truth shall make you free. It won't set you free. It will make you free. There is a big difference between being made free and being released. If you are made free, it means you can never be bound again. You have become freedom. But if you are set free, then you can be captured again. Because it was not in your power to liberate yourself. So God doesn't set us free. He makes us free that it becomes impossible for anyone to capture you. So the first thing that we receive, according to the book of Hebrews, is the gospel is complete. When Jesus went up on the cross and he died and he was buried and on the third day he rose again, the first thing that he did is he made the good news complete. There is a difference between somebody telling you something good and it is a different thing for you to receive that good thing. When the Lord Jesus rose from the dead, it was the completion of the good news. What he came to talk about, what he was speaking about, he actually finished it. That you and me can boldly say that we are going to heaven, period. Amen. But not only are we going to heaven, we will experience heaven on the earth. Amen. Uh, let me find somebody I can talk to. Amen. Salvation is not just the security of your soul, but it is literally the invasion of heaven upon the earth. Amen. When you walk in true salvation, you don't walk under an open heaven. Heaven becomes joined with your reality. Amen. So you are not walking over something that is open. You are within the realm of heaven itself. While being on earth. When you are under an open heaven. It is angels that are descending to you. But when heaven comes down according to the prayer of the Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 6. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. It means that you begin to exist within the center of God's will. Let me expound on that a little bit. When you live in the center of God's will, you will never be poor again. 
Amen. 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 When you live in the center of God's will, you can never be sick again. Let me talk to somebody. Amen. When heaven comes down, things become different. <laughs> Sorrow becomes a thing of the past. Why? Because I have never seen a funeral in heaven. I have never seen a hospital in heaven. Heaven is orderly. It is organized. Why? Because it is God's house. In that place, no one else sets the rules except God himself. God is the president, is the governor, is the manager. He is all and all, all those things. And he watches over you. The Lord Jesus could never be stopped because he did not walk under an open heaven. Heaven was within his atmosphere. Amen. That Jesus could walk into a criminal's house like, like uh, Zachariah or Zachariah, however you want to call him. He walks in his house to just eat with him. The man begins to repent. Jesus didn't need to tell him, you are a thief. Why have you been stealing from people? His very presence commands change. After today, your presence. Yeah, man. Especially those who are clapping, this is given to you. Your very presence will command change that can never be stopped, can never be quenched. Just your presence. Hallelujah. Before you even, even open your mouth to pray, just your presence. If there was witchcraft, you walk into a place, it will die. Amen, amen. Um, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Nothing contrary will survive the atmosphere of heaven. Listen to this. The Lord Jesus, yesterday I was teaching a financial class with, with my son Van and, and, and Lolita, and I was explaining something. There is something, there are three spirits that go after your finances. One is called the worm. The second one is called rust. The third one is called a thief. Jesus said, hide your treasures in heaven where worms do not, uh, d d don't exist there. What is a worm? Worms eat the harvest. All right? So you'll be planting, you're ready to eat your watermelon, you go and cut it, it's already eaten. It's just a shell. You want to eat your apple, it's already somebody made a hole, entered in there, ate everything. By the time you cut it, you can't even consume it anymore. These spirits are designed to make sure that you work, but you never enjoy your labor even though you see it. You are creating wealth, but you are creating it for devils that keep eating it. You will have money in your pocket. Okay, I think I'm going to do this to get ahead. The next minute, your car breaks down. The next minute your roof is leaking. The next minute the plumbing is broken. The next minute somebody is sick. The next minute you need to pay some, some back whatever. This spirit will end today. Amen. Because these spirits don't enter heaven. They don't enter the atmosphere of heaven. Where there is always an issue. That by the time you look you say indeed I make some money. Where does it all go? Because the moment I start something, something always happens whereby my resources have to be diverted. These spirits are designed to keep you crippled. But when you're under the atmosphere of heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Maybe I'm speaking to the overflows. I don't know if I... Rust destroys value you can have a valuable thing but rust is corrosive it actually infiltrates and makes what is pure impure i don't know if somebody can hear me anything valuable that is left in places that it should not be and clean places what happens rust will creep in it will be a diamond, but you will not know it's a diamond. You may just think it's a rock and throw it away. Rust is designed to devalue whatever you have. So you'll be among your contemporaries. You'll be working on the same thing. Working on the exact same thing. And yours is better, but they will pay them instead of take yours. 
It's a spirit. You think it's normal. It's not. When you have worked and you have given everything and you know yours is the best, not because you are just saying it, but actually it is the best. But people spend their money on what is not good. You lower your price, they pay more for what is bad and abandon yours. The spirit of rust is on you. Uh, (laughs) There are so many of you that are here. You have ideas that you executed, but they are not going anywhere. But people who copied you are flourishing. I'm done talking. Let's move on. You are doing everything the way you should do it. But yours doesn't, it just seems like yours is always undervalued. It's the spirit of rust. And then the third one is called a thief. A thief comes unannounced. And a thief does not stop you from prosperity. A thief allows you to prosper so he can take it. You work on a deal, put everything together, everything looks good. On the last hour, the whole deal just falls through. Oh, we decided to go a different direction. I invested my time, my resources. On the last hour, um, you know, we just decided to go a different direction. You wasted nine months of my life. I'm preaching to the wrong people. I decree and declare. Because of the atmosphere of heaven. No worm, no rust, no thief will come close to what God has given you. Somebody shot fire. fire. Because of time, I'm moving a little quickly. The second reason what the cross produced for you is the power to bounce back. Amen. Amen. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Amen. After, self, after, after the resurrection, you received the power to bounce back. Amen. Meaning there is no situation that can hold you. Amen. I feel like, are you sure you can hear this? Amen. This is good news indeed. There is nothing that can keep you from bouncing back yes there is nothing you could ever do that can eliminate your ability to increase not just one more time as much as you will desire amen see i don't know if you can hear me because after jesus rose up he showed us that the odds can be against you A whole nation can turn against you. But as long as God is with you, you are a majority. Amen. 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 As long as God has approved you, there is no one who is stacked up against you. There is no one who turns their heart against you will be able to survive fighting God. I've never seen anybody challenge God and survive. Uh, Maybe I'm talking to the wrong people. Let me say that again. I have never seen anybody challenge God and survive. Challenging you is challenging who? Because you are God's child. You are God's... Amen. Amen. So not only are you going to heaven, but heaven is in your atmosphere. But also you have the ability to bounce back. You see, life is full of pitfalls and life, lives. Sometimes life just lives. Life is not a straight line. Sometimes they are roundabouts. Sometimes they are aboves and belows and valleys and mountains. And many times we are the ones that make the mistake. But when you have the power to bounce back, it means even in your own mistakes you will not be held back. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm talking to myself. If you miss the opportunity,
opportunity in 2023. It is coming in 2024. Why? Because you are bouncing back. If a door closed 10 years ago because of this message, it is opening up tomorrow. Amen. I receive. You have the power to bounce back and to bounce back better, greater, stronger, faster. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus. Number three, you receive the power. Let Let me rephrase this. When Jesus was ascending, he said, All authority and power has been given unto me by my Father. And now I give it unto who? Now I give it unto who? I don't say us. It's personal. All authority and power has been given unto me. And now I give it unto who? Number three, you have power to all. You have, I'm saying power. You have access to all power. I'll say it again. The resurrection gave you access to all. Not some, not a little bit, but all power. Amen. Amen. All power. All authority, meaning it doesn't, let me explain to you what authority and power is. The reason why you cannot have authority without power and power without authority is because they work together. You can't have one without the other. Just because somebody can cast out a demon, it doesn't mean they have authority. Mm Mm-hmm. Because authority is known in your ability to control atmosphere. Is known in your ability to control a region. Unquestionably. There is general power that every believer has. There is an ability that has been given unto you to trample over serpents and scorpions and they shall not harm you. Meaning you can go to the devil and kick him. And he will not do anything. He will try to bite back, but it will be like a... (laughs) It will have absolutely no effect. But notice, it says, I've given you authority and power to trample over serpents and upon scorpions. And over all the powers of what? The enemy. And he shall not what? By any means harm you. Right? But do you realize he never said, I have given you authority over principalities and powers? Because these are other kind of spirits. The apostles were given power over scorpions and serpents. They met a demon and they said, Jesus, why couldn't we cast him out? He said, this kind is not the kind I gave you power over. It's in your Bible. He said, this kind, mm, mm, this one is a little more than your pay grade for now. (laughs) This one needs diligence in fasting and prayer. Now, people have taken it to mean, if I fast and pray, I'll cast out demons. No, that's not what Jesus was speaking about. Let me revelate for you a little bit. Let me revelate for you a little bit. Just a little bit. This kind... Comes, no, comes out not unless by what? Fasting and what? Prayer. Now before Jesus dealt with this spirit, there was something that happened. Jesus was praying and two prophets appeared to him. One was called Moses and another one was called Elijah. Are you hearing me? Moses is known for fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Elijah is known by what? Prayer. I'm telling you something without telling you something. So Jesus leaves that place and the first spirit he meets, he throws the boy into water and fire to kill him. 
Now the two encounters that Jesus had, one means taken out of the water, and the other one is known as the prophet of fire. So when he's telling you this kind comes out not, except by fasting and prayer. He's trying to tell you there are places in the spirit you need to grow. Yeah. That there is a level of impartation you need to receive. Amen. In order to deal with spirits that are from the water and the fire. Amen, oh amen. Amen. So I hope you are <laughs> just a little bit. So understand this by the spirit. All authority and power. Not just enough to trample over scorpions and serpents. But all. Because now, after Jesus' ascension into the heavens, he took you with him and sat with you in heavenly places above principalities powers notice there was a change when he was on earth he gave them power over scorpions and serpents but because he is from above he's above all now in order for you to be above all he must take you where he comes from amen come yeah. on so when he lifted himself into the heavens he held you he held your family he helped you yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. and he ascended with you to the highest point yeah. So now because you are so high, you can also trample of us. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Principality, you can crush his head. Yes. You can step on powers. Why? Because you are no longer grounded. So good. Yeah. So good. You are now walking in a realm that the, 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 the principalities, powers, eons, and many other of these spirits. Now, they are literally your ground. So when you are walking, you are just crushing them. You are not even praying. Just you walking out of your house. Some principalities, some powers. Are be Amen. I wish somebody would stand up and stomp your feet. And say, today I have all authority and power. I have all authority and power. Ah, shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. So without him resurrecting and ascending, you cannot trample over principalities and powers. I feel like I'm talking to myself. I promise you I'm almost done. Number four. Permanent strength that brings a lifestyle change. God can bring you change. But in order for it to be a lifestyle, you need the power to maintain it. God doesn't want you, you get a breakthrough two months later, you are struggling again. That is not a lifestyle change. Let me find, let me, let me, can you show me the overflows? Let me look at the people who want to hear my voice. There is the ability to have a lifestyle change. And a lifestyle change means that not only has God changed you within, but he's also changing everything outside. Everything outside of you also receives the ability and the strength for change. When change comes... Many of you have measured your change oh, because I have this money in the bank but you are still a rotten person. Mm, let's keep it real. Some believers are the most unpleasant people to be with. Amen. Because salvation is on their lips but salvation is not in their heart. I, I don't know if you can hear me. There are Christians that are still bitter like they were in the world. There are Christians that are still unforgiving like when they were in the world. There are Christians that still gossip like they were in the world. Oh child, I got some tea for you. Is it? Just... 
I wonder why it's always tea, not coffee. <laughs> At least water, something. It's always the same thing. There is no internal change because everything that is upon you is just leading you to the same, same slander that the devil does, which is called being the accuser of what? So if you can sit down and accuse other people and talk about other people, the spirit of Lucifer is on you. Uh, let's be honest. Satan is the master gossiper. He's the only one who will hear about you and spread news about you instead of pray for you. When we truly receive what is from God, it does not only transform us. It begins to transform those who are around us. Each individual begins to receive that life that brings them to the place that God destined for them to be. Your children begin to walk in the manner they were called. Your husband who used to drink no longer will drink. He did not love church. Now he's telling you we are late for church. Things begin to change where your children who are stubborn, they are now coming back home. Amen. The ability, listen, there is nothing more frustrating than you being in prayer. But there is no change in your family. You can have all the money in the world, but if your child is bound, it is miserable. You want to do things for them, but you're like, hey, sh how will I do it? They won't be able to keep it. You start measuring. If I bless them or I give them something, I will be destroying them. I won't be building them. You can't deliver the best that God has for you unto them because there is frustration consistently. You even realize that your own legacy that is supposed to go to the next level, it can no longer go. Because who is going to carry it? It becomes difficult. I have seen the enemy destroy too many families because of addictions. And now that a lot of things are legalized and many things have been allowed... It's even worse now. Because people no longer have the power to endure. Everyone wants something to patch up something. Not really to go through the process that will bring change. Anything that will take the pain away, everyone is in. But pain is part of growth. The Lord says you have gone through enough pain. Now the power for permanent change. Amen. Amen. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Those whom you have been praying for because of this hour. Because of this time. Because of this moment. The power for change. The power for permanent change. Lifestyle change. Many of you that were on insulin, you come off it. Amen. Amen. Those who are on dialysis, even if you're at home, you are going to come out of it. Amen. Those who are on numerous medications to just maintain you, because there will be a lifestyle. Yeah. The lifestyle change will be permanent. Amen. It will carry you through. Amen. I feel like you didn't hear me. If you heard me, shout fire. Fire. Uh, the last one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last one. And we are going to get into prayer. Is power over death. Amen. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. 
Why do you need power over death? Do you know what cripples you is death? Many of you have not gone after your dreams because of death. Many of you are afraid of tomorrow because of death. Death is the crippler of life. It will cripple everything. If you want to meet somebody who will never reach their destiny and their destination, you will find somebody that is afraid of death. Death cripples everything. Many of you try to protect what you have because you are afraid of death. I'm, I'm just going to maintain this because if I, if I give this to God, if I, if I do this tomorrow, what is going to happen? All that is the fear of death. But when the Lord Jesus resurrected, he completely obliterated death. Can, can you guys check? There's something weird with sound. Can, where's, uh, can you guys fix that, please? Chris, something is buzzing on the monitors or something. Are you sure you can hear me? Yes. I hope it's not interfering with those who are online, but I want you to hear me. The complete obliteration of death. You will never begin to live until you die. Amen. 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 Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. You haven't started to live until you die. A person that has died has nothing to lose, you know? Amen. But if you're still holding on to a certain kind of life, you are already dead. Jesus says, whoever wants to save their life, they shall lose it. And whoever is willing to lose their life shall save it. If you cannot wake up and chase after your, your dreams, you are dead. If you cannot see yourself touching the destiny and the destination God has set for you, you are dead. If you cannot wake up and be inspired... Be motivated. Wake up and say, this is the day that the Lord has made. But when you wake up, the first thing you see is your problems, your troubles. You're already dead. Amen. Because death cripples you and stops you from moving. You will not have the energy to wake up. You will not have the energy to move up. You will not have energy to do anything. Because this is death. You don't see a dead person enjoying life. <laughs> Frozen. But when the Lord Jesus came, when the Lord Jesus came and he rose up from the dead, he completely obliterated. Listen, he didn't just stop it. Obliteration. Blew it up to, to, to smithereens. He completely destroyed the power of death. That you can live without fear knowing that tomorrow is guaranteed because death has no power over me. Amen. Amen. Now, now hear this. When Adam and Eve received the sentence for death, they thought death was a negative thing because death was considered the end. Death was considered the end. For all human history, for all Christian history, death was considered the end. But actually death was the way out because if no one could die, if Adam and Eve got the tree of life and nobody could die, then actually we will remain in a miserable state. But death became acceptable because when Jesus our Lord came, he needed to die in order for us to have life. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Now because the power of death is gone, the death of things is simply a transition to greater and better. Amen. Now you didn't hear what I'm saying. You didn't lose anything. It was simply a seed that is about to be greater and better. The power of death is gone. It's simply a gateway to better things that God has for you. Amen. My marriage died. God is giving you a better one. Amen. Uh, let me talk to people. You know many of you are too holy. Let me tell you. My relationships died. God is giving you a better one. Yes. My business partner stands on me. God said, I killed it myself to give you faithful people who will walk with you, will invest, and take you to that next level. Amen, I receive. Ah, my, 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 everything is at a standstill. Yes, because I want you to go a different direction. Yes. When you thought the death of things was a wrong thing, the Lord is telling you, the Lord is telling you, it is simply a transition to better things. Amen. If death had power, then fear death. But now death has no power anymore. Now it has become the means to multiply things. Jesus went into the grave by himself. But when he rose up, he rose up with a multitude of people. Yes. I'm good. Hallelujah. Uh, you mean? <laughs> he went into the grave by himself. But when he rose up, coffins of old patriarchs. Amen. Old saints were opened. And there was sin in the city. Everyone was walking and said, hey, is that David? Those things that you thought were dead, they are resurrecting today. Amen. See. Uh, I can't hear you celebrating God. Hallelujah. As you rise up, I want you to rise up with this confidence. Death lost its power. Amen. Amen. I said death lost its what? Power. If you lost a child, whether they were grown or in the belly, God is giving you more children. I receive. Amen. If you lost money, trust me, money all belongs to God. God will give you more. Amen. Receive. If you are betrayed like Judas betrayed Jesus, just know they are promoting you. Amen. Without a traitor, there is no promotion. Amen. So celebrate your traitors. In fact, clap your hands for them. Say thank you, Jesus, because they are sending me to the cross. And unless the Son of Man is lifted up, he cannot draw all men unto himself. Your crucifixion was your promotion. Amen. Was the highlight you needed for your business. Yes. Was the highlight you needed for your career. Yes. Was everything you needed for your next level. Uh, mm. I want you to lift your hands to the Lord. The Bible says we are saved by grace through faith. When the Lord Jesus came, he was the expression of God's grace. It was an olive branch that God extended to us. But his death was the evidence of his love. You have not only received grace that allows you to stand in places and to be in places you're not supposed to be in. Because that's what grace does. Grace qualifies you for things you are not supposed to be in. Favor opens a door because you have been working on something and you need somebody to give you an approval. That's called favor. Grace is when you are unqualified, you are uneducated, but God has decided to make you a billionaire. Amen. Not because you have anything that... Uh, God just decided for you to stand in places you shouldn't be. That is called grace. That is called what? Grace. That is called grace. So God extended grace to us. 
that we may be where the Lord Jesus is. Jesus said, I go to my father and I'll come back and get you and bring you to myself. In the body we await this great event, but in the spirit we are already seated with him. You are already in heavenly places. And Amen. Don't let your body fool you. Yes. Your spirit has already gone farther than where your body can ever be. Yes. Amen. And because your spirit is on the other side, your spirit is able to pull your body to... Amen. You have already seen your future because your spirit is already there. So now your body can follow because your spirit has already been there. I want you to lift your hands to the Lord Jesus and thank him for the grace. Thank him for the favor. Thank him for the mercy. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his love that he has revealed unto you and unto me. Because of this day we are changed, we are empowered, we have overcome, we are more than conquerors. We are able to receive all the best that God has for us. Simply because of this day. Heaven is guaranteed for us. The salvation and the security, the eternal security of our soul is guaranteed. Because of this day, no devil can touch you. Because of this day, no, no satanic works can approach you. Because of this day, no diabolical agenda can come close to you. There is no addiction that will hold your family. There is no barrenness that can remain because God has caused you to be fruitful. Absolutely nothing the devil intends will have the power to stop what the king of glory has decided. I want you to lift your hands to the Lord. And I want you to begin to thank him for what has already happened. If you can see what has already happened, then understand the manifestation has already come. Amen. Lift your voice and begin to speak to the Lord. Father, thank you for your grace, O oh Lord. Thank, thank you for, for grace, your mercy. God. Thank you for the victory, Thank you God. for your love. Thank you for mercy, God. Thank, thank, you, thank you for, for this faith, day, O oh Father. God, we thank you. If it wasn't for this thank day, oh Lord, we would not see your visions, oh Lord. We would not experience your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your love. Thank you, oh Father, for making us higher, oh Lord, than our enemies, than our situations, higher than any devil, higher than any tribulation. We thank you, oh Father. Thank you that we lift your voice. I can't hear you praying. Lift your voice. Thank you that you have seated us in heavenly places. Thank you, God. Above all principalities. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace. Thank you, God, for the vision. Thank you, thank you for your resurrection. Your resurrection. Thank you, God, for the Rikapana. Thank you, God. Thank you that you have places above all sickness. You have places above disease. You have places above all serpents, above all witches. Thank you, God. Thank you for your power that is manifested within us today. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your goodness. 
Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Father, because of the power you have given me. Because of the power you have given me. Because of the ability you have given me. Because of the ability you have given me. I come out of, of, of every difficult situation. I come out of impossible situation. Because you have given me all authority and power. Because you have given me all authority and power. I put the devil in his place. I put the devil in his place. I put death in its place. Lift your voice and pray with your own words.
Jesus name. Jesus name. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Elevation is my portion. Elevation is my portion. Increase is my portion. Increase is my portion. Elevation is my portion. Elevation is my portion. Increase is my portion. Increase is my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare your elevation. Heaven. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. I am released from every curse that is in the family. I am released from every complications of the family. Whatever my family failed in, I will prosper. I will overcome. I will prosper. I will overcome. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every curse that has fallen my family. I am free from every complication that has fallen my family. I am free from anything that has ever struggled. He is not tired of our family. Father, we are liberated from every curse of the family.
Jesus name. Everybody lift your hands. Thank you Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, show me mercy today. Father, show me mercy today. Father, show me compassion today. Father, show me compassion today. Save me from this pit. Save me from this pit. Rescue me from the place that I'm in. Rescue me from the place that I am in. Father, you will never let me be ashamed. Father, you will never let me be ashamed. Father, rescue me today. Father, rescue me today. Lift your voice and speak to the Lord. Father, show me your compassion today. Show us your mercy today. Lord, rescue us from the pit we are in. Rescue us from the condition we are in. Rescue us, O God. Have compassion on us. Oh, 
the sick will be healed. Amen. That those who are oppressed will be free. Hallelujah. This place is quiet. I thought this. Hallelujah. This place has more people than everywhere in the hey. building. The Lord is good. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, come on, man. Look at me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Now, man of God, how are you doing? You're doing well? God is good. Amen. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Mama, please, I beg you, please try to stand because... Uh, she's no 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 she can't stand don't don't worry god has come into the scene you don't need to cry anymore amen god is about to solve your problem hallelujah amen understand this children of god you talk to jesus he will talk to me amen. i am not operating of my own will i'm operating by his will amen, amen. I can only go where he tells me to go. If I just come to you, I can tell you things, but there will be no grace to follow up to make sure things change. What makes a prophet a prophet is that he speaks the mind of God because once God's mind is revealed, God's power is also released Amen. to carry out what has been said. Amen. If I just speak of my own, if I just speak of my own, what happens is that you will celebrate and you'll be happy, but there are things that will not be able to come to pass because God did not say yes. Stand up, stand up. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, look to the Lord. Don't look at me, look to the Lord. Let me pray for you. Don't look at me, look to the Lord. Mom went to call. Good. Um, I like that. I like Amen. that. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands to the Lord. Put the papers down. No, no. Put, put the papers down. I will get it. Let's pray first. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands, every one of you. Put your papers down. Lift your hands to Jesus. Don't worry about your prayer request right now. Don't worry about your oils. You can put your oils down. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Don't play any music. Quiet completely. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift this, your people, in your hands. Father, not only in this building, in the main sanctuary, the other overflows, and also those who are watching from home. My Lord and my God, you destined us for freedom. It is your desire for us to be free. Adam was not bound even though through him bondage came into the world, it has never been your desire for us to be bound. It has never been your desire for us to be bound, to be in limitation and in frustration. This has never been your will, and it will never be your will. Through your son Jesus, you came to give us complete freedom, and to give us restoration, and to give us restitution. Father, we are but the seed of our family. We are not only representing ourselves, we are representing everybody that is connected to us. Not only our friends, but also our families. Lord, people have come from different nations, from different places, simply to pursue your voice and to know your mind today. So my Father and my God, as we lift your people before you, I pray that there will be an open, open invasion of heaven physically in this place. Amen. That where things were not straight, where things were corrupt, where things were under attack, where there is confusion, where there is calamity because of the name of Jesus that your people will begin to be free freedom from 
bondage, freedom from sickness, chronic diseases, sorcery, witchcraft. Because of your mighty presence that is all over this place, I decree and declare that freedom will begin to manifest now. That those who have chronic diseases will be liberated. Those who have chronic sicknesses will be liberated. Those who have lost families and, and children, they will be free. And those who are lost will be found. Father, I thank you for what you're about to do. Just lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No, just stay quiet. Let me pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where every demon is hidden. Every spirit of sickness. Every diabolical spirit. Satanic spirit. Spirit of witchcraft. Sorcery, spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, spirit of death. I command you in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Don't clap your hands, be in prayer. This is time to pray. Bring them, those who are manifesting even in the main sanctuary, pull them out. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit hiding inside of me. Every spirit hiding inside of me. Hiding inside my children. Hiding inside my children. Hiding in my family. Hiding in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it come out of me now. Let it come out of me now. Lift your voice and begin to command spirits to live your life. Spirit hiding in my life. Let it come out in my life. Let it come out, it it come out now. Every spirit in my in the name of Jesus, I command you to come out of me now. Come out, light be. Zele and Vupa and Ta. Light be. Light be. Zika Lega. Every spirit hiding in my life. Every spirit hiding in my life. Every wicked diabolical spirit. Let it come out. Let it come out. Come out. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Levanuria, Vekantides, Zova and Alla Precatus, Vekanalabande, Zico Alama Supra Nalabante, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil wind, every evil wind, every snake, every snake, every sorcery, every sorcery, every power, every power. Every limitation, every limitation, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every limitation be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Lebranelabacas, 
Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. Every demonic will, every demonic covenant is broken. Every demonic covenant is broken. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. Shame is broken. Shame is broken. Because of the blood of Jesus. 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 I am free from bondage. I am free from bondage. Lift your voice. Lift your voice and pray. Because of the blood of Jesus, shame is broken. Because of the blood of Jesus, every bondage is broken. Because of the blood of Jesus, shame is broken. Rosa Atalabamaster, vacant titans, vacant Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. It is broken because of the blood of Jesus. Shame is Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. The blood of Jesus. Every shame is broken because of the blood of Jesus. Rista Titans. Make ten times the rest to kill a price. On kings and titans. On kings and titans. Devils of addiction. Devils of addiction. Devils of addiction. In our children. In our fathers. In our mothers. Let it be broken. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Let it be broken. Devils of addiction in our families, in our children, in our family. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bondage, every bondage, every devil fell. Rista Kalamazo, Lipra Nuka Atura Atalabada, Lega Talabamase Pidens, Lipra Zuta Avada, Ankenda Atalabendia, Manzuria Praven Iliga, Ladens I Labor Nilus, Rika Talabada, Lepandura Antela. Zikan Isaiah and Titan Elias, who can tell them us? Every devil of addiction in our families, in our children, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Rush the color price. Rest the catalyst. Leap and Titan Elias. Devils of addiction. Let it be broken. We break the mighty name of Jesus. We break every chain of addiction. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that I have been fed. Anything that I have been fed. That is not from the Lord. That is not from the Lord. That is causing chaos in my life. That is causing chaos in my life. I command it in the name of Jesus. I command it in the name of Jesus. Because of the resurrection of Jesus. Because of the resurrection of Jesus. Chains are being broken. Chains are being broken. What is inside of me to come out? What is inside of me to come out? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Anything that has been fed, Lord, it is coming out of me in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming out of me in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming out of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Le prince et taïs, Santana Mako, si Araba Baïsikai, Le Maba Mako, Le prince et taïs, 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 Vélemans, 
In Jesus' name. Grab your wallet, whatever represents your finances, grab it. Nothing will devour your cash again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up after you grab it, whatever represents your business. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, what you have placed in my hand. Father, what you have placed in my hand. Represents your strength. Represents your strength. In my life. In my life. You give the power to make wealth. You You give give the the power power to to make make wealth. wealth. And what you endorse cannot be broken. What you endorse cannot be broken. What you endorse cannot be reversed. What you endorse cannot be reversed. As I lift my basket to you. As I lift my basket to you. May I receive the unction. May I receive the unction. That will allow things not to expire. That will allow things not to expire. As the woman who had the flour and the oil. The woman who had the flour and the oil. That my basket will never be empty. That my basket will never be empty. That there will never be dryness in my house. There will never be dryness in my house. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Increase is my portion. Increase is my portion. Continually. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and in your own words, speak to the Lord. I lift my basket to you, Lord. Whatever you endorse can never Everything, be Everything, God, in the name of Whatever Jesus. Whatever you bless can never be cursed. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift your voice, lift your voice. My basket will overflow. My basket will overflow. It will be a continual in the mighty name of Jesus. We will never run dry. We will never run dry. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Lift your voice. We will never run dry. Everything connected to us will succeed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. We'll progress you. The devil doesn't want it for you. 
I'll say it one more time. Anything that will elevate you, Satan doesn't want it for you. He will make you self-sabotage. Somebody you loved all of a sudden will be, I just don't like them. Why? Somebody who's been there for you, all of a sudden they become this, it is diabolical, it's demonic. Come, hold my hand. Clap your hands to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Does everybody have communion? Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Yes. Oh, they have, they have mine. Don't worry, I'm good. Even if you're at home, let's do this together to seal this great, amazing, amazing, amazing day. I want you to go and enjoy time with your family too. You've eaten spiritual food. Now it's time to eat. We are breaking our fast. You know that. Amen. So we are breaking the fast with communion first. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, where's, where's, my, where's my communion? I love you guys even more and Jesus loves us most. Say Father in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up the, the bread, lift it up. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. That your body was given for me. That your body was given for me. And because of your body I am free. And because of your body I am free. Because of your body I am restored. Because of your body I am restored. Because of your body I am healed. Because of your body I am healed. Father, I thank you for your body. Father, I thank you for your body. It was broken so that I may be put together. It was broken so that I may be put together. Lord Jesus, I thank thank you Lord Jesus I thank you Lord Jesus I thank you Lord Jesus I thank you may the manifestation of your graces may the manifestation of your graces be be seen in my life be seen in my life may they be experienced in my life may they be experienced in my life in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name partake of the body Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your blood. Father, I thank you for your blood. I thank you for your blood. I thank you for your blood. That is able to cleanse. That is able to cleanse. Is able to purify. It is able to purify. It's able to sanctify. It is able to sanctify. And make us acceptable in your presence. And make us acceptable in your presence. Because of this blood. Because of this blood. The blood of your son Jesus. The blood of your son Jesus. I receive Abraham's blessing. I receive Abraham's blessing. Every blessing that is associated with Abraham. Every blessing that is associated with Abraham. I also receive it. I also receive it. The seed of Abraham cannot be sick. The seed of Abraham cannot be sick. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. I shall not be sick. I shall not be sick. The seed of Abraham knows no poverty. The seed of Abraham knows no poverty. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. There shall not be poverty upon me. There shall not be poverty upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray and declare the blessing you want to see in your life before you partake of this. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice in every auditorium. Lift your voice. Lift your voice, lift your voice.
In the mighty name of Jesus. Partake of the cup. Clap your hands to the Lord. Clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give him just the tip of your praise. Give him all of it. Hallelujah. Give him all of it. Go all the way. Hallelujah. 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 Ah. Lift your hands. I'm about to release a decree for you. Before we dance and give to God, before we enjoy life, because the fast is over, now it's time to eat. Yeah. Ah, you're not celebrating like you mean it. Yeah. Lift your hands. All you will shout is, I receive. As you enter into this new month, as you enter into this new month, I receive. You are already victorious. I receive. There is no obstacle that you will encounter that you will not overcome. I receive. As you enter into this new month, prosperity is waiting for you. I receive. Spiritual prosperity and physical prosperity I receive. peace is your portion I receive. everything you touch will prosper I receive. every enemy that fights you will lose I receive. because of the blood of Jesus I you are rising to a new level I you are rising to a new dimension I because of the hand of God upon you I Whatsoever you touch will not only come to life but will begin to move at an astonishing speed. This month you will know speed. This month you will know acceleration. Acceleration of your business. Acceleration of your career. Acceleration is your portion. Begin to praise God for acceleration. Listen, as you enter this new month, I receive. the Lord is setting a table for you. I receive. You are about to celebrate. You are about to celebrate. I receive. This month will be full of celebration. I receive. You are now entering into a place of satisfaction. I you are about to enjoy in the name of Jesus. I Clap your hands as you break your fast. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord has set a table for you today. Look at your jealousy. Apostle is dangerous. I receive. I receive. Lift your hands. I, you know the prophet must break the first fast. Amen. 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 That is deep. This was a good plan. I receive. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Because you are a child of Zion. Yeah. You are surrounded by a multitude of angels. Yeah. Wherever you go, angels will go ahead of you. In the mighty name of Clap your hands and believe God. Jesus' name. <laughs> 
I want you to grab your seed. You are opening the new month. Amen. With shouts and dancing in whatever auditorium you're in. Grab your best sacrifice. You have finished the fast now. Amen. Thank you. I'm enjoying too much. I'm not done. It was just the intro. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you caught it, George? Huh? <laughs> lift it up, lift it up. Say, Father, we thank you. Father, Father we, we thank you. you. We unlock the womb of April. We unlock the womb of April. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are opening this month. We, we are, are opening, opening this, this month, month with victory, with victory, with prophetic declarations, with prophetic declarations that it will be the best month yet. That it will be the best month yet. This month I will only know victory. This month I will only know victory. This month I will only know increase. This month I will only know increase. This month I will know comfort. This month I will know comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I dance, O oh Lord. As I dance. Yes, oh Lord. My enemies will be crying. My enemies will be crying. Those who waited for me to expire. Those who waited for me to expire. Those who set traps for me. Those who set traps for me. They shall fall into their own traps. They shall fall into their own traps. In the mighty name of. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to come giving to God, dancing and celebrating. Hallelujah. Give us something. Give us something. directions of the ushers as you come as you come giving hallelujah and come rejoicing but I just with the fight I'm slowly drifting a vagabond and just when I ran on the road I met a man that I didn't know and he said Lord, he picked me up, he picked me up, he turned me around, he placed my feet on on solid ground, I think the master, I think the savior.
Glory to God. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we'll see you on Thursday. We love you. Hallelujah.